We did it. We moved. Well, there is stuff in the house and it's in a place. It's not where I want it to be, but that's the way moving goes, right? Hello vlog. Look at this. I've created a new style, half up, half down. Anyways, so this vlog is going to be a little bit of a DIY before and after our big move. Obviously, I'm giving you a little peek here and there. The cat peed on the, uh, what's the word, couch. And instead of doing it like all at once, I kind of wanted to focus on some areas that we feel like we feel good, neutral about, right? Like. The living room's gonna be changing a lot. This is not, it's all It's all not, you guys know how moves are. It takes like a month to actually move everything. So I wanna focus on the backyard, the kitchen, and the bedroom. So when we moved from our other place, we just took all of our patio furniture and like threw it back here with no design or plan. Obviously, Leo is now becoming an outdoor cat, which is very exciting for him. And I wanted to make sure we make it a space where we're able to also get in our exercise, which is why I have my yoga mat out here and I bought this patio chair cover that fits perfectly over my Pilates machine. This is storage. I feel like we could use this also as a bench with a table. And then of course my day bed, which as you saw on Instagram, ripped during the move so i've got to figure out how to fix that also our compost stays out here i feel like this area is complete now today we hang the proper lights because these didn't really do so well that's a ladder oh and a butterfly you might be asking kelsey why not just hire someone to do this uh number one we spent all our money on moving and all of our stuff was stolen so we don't have anything and um an impatient So I'm just connecting these with zip ties because zip ties fix everything. Where are the zip ties? Where did I put them? That's probably step one. Come on. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I'm really good at darts. A lot of people might not know that about me because why would you, unless you've been at a bar with me? But here's the thing, when I was uh, drinking to excess, the best way I found to socialize with people and meet people is playing darts and board games and different bar games. So we have a dartboard and I'm not as good when I'm sober, but hey, still fun. I'm gonna put it outside. I'm gonna hang it right here. Okay, so just a quick update. I wish I could show this to you at nighttime, but we're gonna get this vlog up in time. It's gotta be daytime. I finished with our lights and then we added this sail. So now we have some shade. Isn't that fantastic? Can you tell I'm in reno mode by my hair? <laughs> okay, so how crazy is this? I have a bunch of leftover peel and six from various art projects and you know, you never wanna throw away the peel and stick stuff because that is expensive. But remember in my last vlog when I said I was definitely gonna get rid of this like weird metal peel and stick that I hated? Well, how crazy is it that I have leftover peel and stick from our RV build that is literally the exact same pattern, but white. I don't know which looks better. I feel like doing all white would give me a better base. I know some of you are gonna say, keep this out there, but I can't stand this out there. Okay, is it great? No. Am I still going for it? Yes. Now I need to cut out the outlets out of it and um, pray for me. Well. <sighs> Listen, did I think this was gonna be the best way to do this? No, I didn't. But was I hoping? Yeah, okay, was hoping. I filled this little sun uh, window with crystals because I can't keep real plants alive or real herbs alive, I should say. And I think this is a pretty cute way to charge crystals. Yeah. Besides the backsplash, not much has been done except for accessories. I can't tell you how nice it is to have space for all 
of our appliances. And I just realized my backsplash is still not sticking. Decorated our fridge a little bit with our important stuff and our friends. It feels a lot more lived in, right, Leo? Oh, okay. Now leave a comment below if you think I'm crazy, but I want to paint something on this wall. I was thinking like a half moon color or like a stripe through that is orange. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> Let's go check out the bedroom. Here is the bedroom before. And here it is now. Okay. So you can't make fun of me because we're about to change the bedding and I do sleep with 900 pillows. I don't want to hear it. That's why it looks like this. Also, I love these curtain rods I got from Target. I think they look so glam industrial. They don't look cheap, you know? I really like them. This is a mirror that I stole from my best friend Lacey that I've just keep painting different colors. And I think I wanna do something insane, like paint it like a cuckoo color on the outside. Like, does neon purple exist? Cause if it does, I, I want that. Anyway, all of Jared's stuff, still here in a mess. I got him that Pickle Rick photo for one of our anniversaries or something. These side tables I've had forever. I don't know, what are these considered, like sconce lamps? My old roommate gave me this idea and I really do think it just makes a bedroom look official. Like it really does just provide nice reading light. We don't have to turn on this overhead but it makes it feel fancy, like a hotel room. This is a simple Ikea dresser, and <laughs> we never planned on this couch going here, but we truly had no idea where to put it. Um, I found this lamp for zero dollars. Found it in a garbage. It's an acrylic lamp with a color changing bulb, and it's actually $300 from Wayfair, so yay for dumpster diving. The TV is a little obnoxiously big, but this is a dresser that I've inherited from my old roommate. One of these cool sunset TikTok lamps. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I put them around the house, around the room. Listen, we don't have to talk about how chaotic this looks compared to the rest of the serene room, but look, this is my makeup space. I just have no idea. Like clearly I don't have enough storage. All of these drawers are full. I'm figuring it out, okay? Don't yell at me. This little corner of the room I thought was cute. I've made like basically a little shrine to Jared and I's relationship. So every day when I walk out of the bedroom, I'm like, oh yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> and I do love our closets. Although we don't really have depth to them, boy oh boy, did we fill these right up. And of course I got this side because it has the little built-in rocks with um, areas for me to put my purses. So I think we've done a pretty good job. Oh yeah, and there's a mirror on the back of the door because I need to be able to see. <laughs> I can't remember where I got this rug from, but I feel like it has every color in this room and it just brings it all together. So yeah. That's, that's it. That's the three room tour. I'm wearing a full fleece outfit as if I'm in the Arctic. It's 90 degrees. Those are just the rooms I wanted to show you. Obviously nothing is for sure done. I'd love your help and recommendations on making choices, especially on stuff like the outdoors and the kitchen. Yeah, don't forget to leave a comment below, subscribe, turn on that bell. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing here? Why is Leo eating the tape off of the ladder? Leo, are you serious? I mean. <laughs>